But here's what I see. Kevin Feige doesn't want to be the Disney Studios chairman. He wants to be Disney's CEO. What up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Nigerian Report. I'm your host, Pablo. And joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Kevin Feige is an ambitious man. He had humble beginnings working on, you know, stuff we all know, X-Men and other things. Attempted to do something fantastic and he was able to make it come true, Brian. I didn't think it was possible. In the beginning, we thought we couldn't believe what was happening and he made it all happen. But now he has his sights set on something bigger. Kevin Feige, head of Marvel Studios, he's reportedly uh, seeking a higher position. This comes to us from um, the Hot Mike podcast. Kevin Feige wants to become the Walt Disney Studios chairman. Now, that's the second highest, Brian. The next one up there is Bob. Right now, that position is being held by Alan Bergman. Brian, how much... I'm actually... I think they're very important questions in terms of the possibility of this happening. You know, with all the stuff that's gone on with JPEG and they brought back Iger on a Sunday, there's a lot of reorganization and restructuring, not just back to what we used to do that was so successful, but a few other changes as well. And now it seems like a perfect opportunity for Kevin Feige to throw that one out there. But the, 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 the first question I want to ask you, Brian, is this possible within the next few years? How what's what's the time frame of you seeing this happening? And is it dependent, Brian, on the success of this of the next phases, Brian? There's no doubt that he's he's carried Disney on his back. What do you think the possibilities are for all this to happen? I think the possibility is high, and I think it's going to happen within months. This has everything to do with how 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 I perceive corporations to work, and has nothing to do with Marvel. Okay. To me, you can't like we can complain and critique about the state of the MCU all we want. But if we were to be objective from a corporate perspective, most corporate executives would kill to be in a position where people are calling eight hundred million dollar box office movies disappoint. Okay, so including a lot of people at Disney today, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't see no Star Wars movie in the theater that's making eight hundred million. Okay, what this tells, what this, the reason why I think this rumor holds some water is because is for a couple of reasons one is back in the day kevin feige almost lost his job at the hands of ike perlmutter back in 2015 when age of ultron came out he won that power struggle under bob Iger. obviously that was a, a kind of a no-brainer in retrospect but here's what i see kevin feige doesn't want to be the disney studios chairman he wants to be disney's ceo that, that would make me number one so let me map this out for you. Wow. Bob, Iger is, Bob Iger is 72 years old. He's coming back as a Band-Aid for a problem that Bob Chapek opened up. He's not going to be there for 10 years. He's publicly said his goal is to be out in two. Now, I tend to think he's going to have to stay a little bit longer. But even if you say Bob Iger is going to stay for, let's say it's five years. Okay. His current number two is Alan Bergman. That was the chairman of Disney Studios. But Alan Bergman was just moved into a new role as part of Bob Iger's corporate reshuffle, which means that number two seat is officially open right now. Bergman, now if, if Bob Iger was hit by a bus tomorrow, Alan Bergman would be the CEO of Disney right now however he's 57 which means in five years if we assume Iger's here for five years he's going to be 62. most corporations don't like installing new ceos who are that close to retirement age but kevin feige is 49. 
So if he gets himself into the number two position at age 49 and Iger leaves in the next three to five years, Kevin Feige will be the CEO of Disney. Wow. That's what he's after. I, I don't, I'm surprised more articles aren't picking up on that. They're like, oh, he wants to be. No, he doesn't want to be number two. He needs to be number two to have the credibility with the board to become number, number one. one. And he needs to be. And what he recognizes is that seat may not be open again in a time frame where he would be young enough to be the CEO, which means he needs to grab it now, which is why I think there's a chance Kevin Feige might be moved into that role within the next few months because that role is going to be filled wow. by somebody. And he's got the best resume internally, hands down. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. he and Iger are tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who do you think Brian would then step up to take uh, the mantle of uh, the Mar Marvel Studios head? Nate Moore. That's who, that's who clearly seems to have the number two position within the parliament. That's who I would guess. Moore's, it'd probably be him or Winderbaum, but I think Moore's considered the more senior personnel. So that would be, I would think they would just move that, move that on up. And he's certainly the one, the, the most, uh, uh, you see him a lot out there doing a lot more interviews. Uh, Don't like think that's a coincidence. Yes, 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 yes. That, that, see, to me, like these things are usually not accidents, right? Like you, usually in corporate space, if someone is viewed as a successor to something, they tend to make them more visible before the announcement gets made. So, and Nate Moore really only started popping up in public circles and kind of having lead producer position on movies in the last two to three years. Like it, it's not, it's not, a, that wasn't to say they were aiming at 2023 because obviously Kevin Feige didn't know Bob Iger was coming back any more than we did. Um, you know, a couple of months ago. But again, you you don't get to be Kevin Feige without understanding that when opportunity knocks, if that's your goal, if that's your personal ambition, you don't get to control the timing of that. You've got to strike when that's when that window is open. And that window is now. So you see this for sure how like how no, no, sure. okay, okay. no, that's just me reading the tea leaves and making a prediction, but I I just think when I see the corporate restructuring at Disney is happening now, so any changes of that nature are going to happen in the near term. Yeah, yeah, I can't argue the logic there, Brian. Uh, I was just looking at some of the negative um, reactions to some of the films, some of the you know Phase Four. Can, let's call it what it is. It has been a disappointment. Uh, phase five uh, was set to start off with a bang and it wasn't that I think for most Brian for the people that I've spoken to Brian so but I, don't I think was mattered mm -hmm. my, my issue with that though from the Kevin being promoted standpoint is number one Disney is still in the mode of anything that's bad they can blame on JPEG True, 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 true. Oh, including Kevin. Because Kevin could say, listen, the reason why quality suffered is this joker was making me put out 27 projects when I only wanted to do 10. Yeah. Like yeah. you can do that in the in the immediate term. And the number two thing is, as I said, he's still making the studio, he's still making the company a lot of money. Yeah. Right. We're we're complaining about the lack of a billion dollar project, but all of these movies are still putting a couple hundred million dollars in Disney's pocket. So that again, like you got to look at that a little differently than we look at it as fans. So it's more than enough when you you know, when you look at Kevin's broader resume, there is nobody else internally who's going to put their hand up for that number two position who on merit has done more for Disney's bottom line than Kevin Feige has. There might be other people with some experience from like a corporate, a purely corporate standpoint, but there's nobody who is like the DNA of of Walt Disney as a creator, you know, turned profit center. It's Kevin, like yeah. not even close. And if he does it, so here's the other question. Mm -hmm. If he wants it and Iger says no, then what? That's the more interesting subplot. 
I agree with you there, Brian. I had thought about it as well. He's out. But where does he go? What does he do? Because right now, uh, James Gunn and Peter Saffron are the heads. We would have we would have thought that would have been the case, right? There had been uh, some attempts to talk to Kevin Feige about you know coming over, but that role has been filled. What would happen, Brian? I think strategically he would buy his time, do the Kev- do the X Men. I think I, I think he wants to stick around for that and see how that goes, and then wait for an opportunity. I, that's all he can do, right? If that does, if Bob Iger says no. Yeah, I agree. I, it's one of those things I started wrestling with where I kind of was like, okay, the DC seat came and went. It's not open right now. They would not, I mean, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, even for David yeah. Zaslav, that'd be pretty, pretty gangster to get rid of yeah. James Gunn and Peter Saffron to bring Kevin Feige now. That's not going to happen. Yeah. I don't see Sony as a viable option just because I don't think Sony's like a big enough enterprise. Like when you, when you run Marvel at Disney, going to run sony is a, a major step back. step down yeah Ooh, how's it so the only things that you know the only white space that seems kind of interesting would be like you know if somebody like apple makes a godfather offer and says we want you to run something that's well beyond comics ip but we're gonna try to acquire dc or you. Acquire, you know, like yeah and you bet on the long run that's the only thing that maybe he might take the call on if disney doesn't give him what he wants Yes, yes, and that plays into some other subplots that we've talk, spoken about before regarding the DCIP and what ha- what could happen if James Gunn and Peter Saffron are unable to get them to where Zaslav wants to be, where MCU has been for all these years, profitable. Uh, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, and you heard it here, folk. First, Brian predicts that Kevin Feige is going to be number two in the next few months. So you heard it here, folks. When you when that if that happens, tell your friends. <laughs> tell your friends. Don't say, "Oh, I you you ain't know nothing." We told you this was gonna happen. Let us know in the conversation below and don't what accuse, you guys don't think. Don't accuse us of not having an opinion. <laughs> that's what we take. So. Yeah. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Jet Report. No! No!